Hey guys, what's good? So over the last few days, I have plenty of dry bread left over because I did a lot of bread recipes. So what do you do when you have that dry bread which you can't really eat? Today we're gonna show you what to do with that dry bread. So, in today's episode, we're going to do French toast, but we're going to add some beautiful autumn figs on top of that French toast. And we're going to do it with a very little amount of sugar, so it's going to be healthy and it's going to be delicious. This is going to be one of the best French toasts you ate. So, to start with, we're going to take our eggs. And then I'm going to add in the maple syrup. I'm not using sugar here, but you could use sugar or any other sweetener if you want. And I'm just going to add half of the milk. Then I'm going to give it a nice whisk. Just incorporate all these beautiful ingredients all together. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some orange zest and some lemon zest. Now what the zest will do is it'll give you a nice citrusy flavor. Just a hint of that citrus running through that sweet maple syrup. So I've used only half of my milk here. The other half I'm gonna mix with some custard powder and some vanilla extract. So the other half of my milk with custard powder and vanilla extract. And now I'm gonna slowly incorporate it into my egg mix. Now I'm going to mix everything together, give it a good whisk. We're looking for a nice pale yellow custard. So French toast is one of my breakfast favorites. I always love to eat it with in the morning with a cup of coffee or, or some tea and it's something that I grew up eating, so I really like this recipe. But I've tweaked it out and I've uh, made it a bit more refined. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prep my fruits. So I was walking through the supermarket and I found these beautiful figs. Autumn season, some beautiful figs, some nice tart plums. Also, a lot of different types of pears, all in great season. And I'm just going to caramelize all these fruits. As you see here, I have some nice plums. They're nice and tart and they'll give a good contrast to that sweet, sweet French toast. Now here you see I'm using particular fruits, but you could change the fruits. You could use banana or mango or pineapple or do something tropical. Peaches go really well. Any fruit that you like, you could use. Now I'm just gonna keep the fruits nice and chunky because I want a nice bite to them. You could leave the skin on or off. This is optional and entirely up to you.
So into a bowl with my fruits. And now I'm gonna just slightly marinate all my fruits. See, I'm not using sugar. I'm gonna use this beautiful Canadian maple syrup that I have. Just give it a nice toss. And you could caramelize these fruits on a pan if you don't have an oven, but I'm gonna use an oven. So onto a baking tray, into my oven for about six to 10 minutes. So into the oven. Now for my custard, I'm gonna use a challah bread. You could use brioche or any sliced bread. Now for French toast, the trick is that you need to have a nice thick piece of bread. So this is two day old bread that is gonna be dried. And challah bread is quite sweet, so I'm not adding much sugar to it. So I'm gonna soak my bread in for about a minute. Depending on the size of your bread, you could soak it in the custard for about a minute to three minutes. If you soak it for too long, it'll break. So into a hot pan with some oil. I always add oil before I add the butter because the oil will prevent the butter from burning. Now in with my butter. And then the simple part. Once you see that your butter is melted and it's nice, has that nice sizzling effect in the pan, that's when you'll add your bread. Now what we're looking for is a nice golden brown color. That's what we're looking for, beautiful golden brown crisp on the outside and nicely cooked through. There should be no liquid running through. So I'm gonna give it a nice dab and I, my, my toast is cooked so I'm not gonna use the oven, but if your toast is not cooked, you could use the oven. So now we're ready to plate. Onto a plate. This is my favorite part, I love plating, so. So now I'm gonna just top it with my fruits. Now, if you don't like fruits, you could use even some cream you could even have this for dessert add some ice cream on top or you could just eat it with some butter and maple syrup or honey and maple syrup now this is my version so i'm going to add in those beautiful figs some nice tart plums and some beautiful crispy pears i'm also going to add in a few blackberries and it'll give it a nice color and also a bit of freshness so some blackberries to give it some color and some freshness and then i have some thai basil leaves and some thai basil flowers and the aniseed flavor also cuts through that fruit and gives it a beautiful flavor. So you could add normal basil, but I would recommend using Thai basil. It really goes well with this recipe. So the next thing to do would be to drizzle that beautiful Canadian maple syrup. So if you're buying maple syrup, there's nothing better than Canadian maple syrup. Also, I'm gonna add a dash of 
Malden sea salt. Just to cut through all that sweetness, a bit of salt. I always like adding salt to any of my recipes. So just a bit of sea salt on top. And we're ready to eat. There you have it. French toast with baked fruits. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you tried this at home. And now I'm going to eat my breakfast. Till next time.